I never thought about this until now, Alfin. But doesn't it get hot wearing that armor all the time? You feel heat and cold again, don't you? Admittedly, yeah. It can get pretty toasty in this thing. Is it hard when your back starts to itch? Oh, you bet. Plus, my shoulders get stiff wearing it, even if it's not all that heavy. Kisara looks like she manages all right with her armor. Armor takes a strong body and a stout heart. Spoken like a true guardsman. Not that I really get what you mean. The more I think about it, the more I realize what a pain it must be. Like, what do you do when you need to take a leak? Ew! That part can be a bit of a pain, yeah. More things to take off. That sucks, man. Wouldn't it be easier if you just walked around outside of your armor most of the time instead? You never know when the enemy might attack. As tempting as it might be to take it off, it's not worth getting killed over. So basically, you're screwed if you ever get attacked while taking a dump. Right, Runwell? Are you doing this on purpose? Thank you. I could get an examination. Well, if you say so. Let me see. Uh, yes, you're in well, all right? If only your brain could keep up with your mouth. Hey, Alfin, what do you think of that?
chick over there. Doesn't look like she really works out. I'm not talking about her muscles, you dummy! Yeah! What? Right. <laughs> Afraid not. Right. Yeah. We've reached our destination. Must be smiling. I do believe that right there is what we've been searching for, yes? Hmm. Is this the so-called legendary instrument? Actually, I think it's one of the freight train parts that I was using for a sword. I'm sure anything will be fine. We should take it. win. Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? An opponent like this should be easy. Here I go. They got me flanked! Who wants to die? A lot of it's buried, but some of it could still be usable. Only if we drive off the Zoogles, though. Is the area worth it? No choice! Burning? My fists are crushing it out there. Finally made it.
Yeah. Sorry. Mm. Damn it. Hey. Gotcha. Right. You seem happy for someone who just went on a wild goose chase. Hey, when you're free, there's no need to sweat the small stuff. Oh, it's no skin off my nose. But if we're done here... Yeah! <sighs> hey. <laughs> hmm. Uh-huh. <sighs> yeah! Just great. <sighs> I guess... Thanks! All right. Hmm. Huh? Uh huh. All right. I guess. <sighs> Whew. Got it. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. Is this the barrier that's keeping the Zugal in that Nath mentioned? Looks like it. Our Zugal pal should be on the other side. This barrier is weird. It looks old and half-finished. Plus, he said it was okay to break. I mean, we won't need it anymore once the Zugal's gone, right? So what does it matter? To 
They really think that barrier was enough for a Zugu like that? It was. That thing was sturdier than you give it credit for. Really? So that's the Zugu, huh? This should be a piece of cake. Don't get careless, Law. Yikes! Don't make eye contact with it! This Ready won't be go. easy. Don't oh, be such a pessimist. Let that gel hiding something tasty. Dragon I'll smash you! Here I go. Get yes. a word. Her smoke. Now, in the group. Can't get it well. Far enough. Inferno punch. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Dragon four. Try harder. My turn. Holy land. Take it. It's not in your dream. Here. 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 I don't know what to do with that deal. Perhaps now isn't the time? I have really done. There you are! Blah, 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 not done yet! Reveal this! Yes. Right. Right. Oh, not done! Raging Cascade! Ready to go! I hope this thing is the end of the game! We'll soon see about that! Flame huh. inside me! Yours to be let free! Oh. Now you Heal. stop it! I don't hear you all! Take it! Yeah. I'm not done! Healing circle! Take this! Whoa! Oh, I'll finish you here and now! Yeah. Thanks for the healing. Watch yourself, okay? Yeah, it's you over. too. It looks like you got this one up. Dragon Swarm! Inferno Punch! Way back to the left! Here I come! Dragon Swarm! Magic is there! The flame inside me yearns to be let free! Reload! First strike! Why'd you hear me? To stop you dying? Ah, oh, right. No! Can't end here! You're a throttling pain. Take this! Let the marksman handle this! Not done yet! I'll smash you! You're mine! Get out there with the others! It's over! Say no more. Huh. Yo, 
These fists have got your name on them! The chain between her and her! You're finished! A wailing banshee of lightning! Right there! Lightning! Explosive ring! Sweet now! Take this! I'm sorry. Forgive me. This is my fault.
can't end here. Where are you going? Holy land! Oh, the chain between in heaven and earth. Oh, you fall! Oh, a wailing banshee of lightning! It's in your hands now. Glacier. Stay away from my Here friends! Evil. Get on in there with you! Dragon Sword! Freeze Lancer! I'm expert! Come to three! Not a...
What's a letter doing in a place like this? How if I know? I highly doubt that Zugal was trying to guard it. Still, somebody must have left it for some... <sighs> Law. Huh? What's up? Something up? It's from my old man. My dear son, I wonder how things will be between us by the time you read this. In any case, I first want to congratulate you on all that you've accomplished. Making it this far requires a strong body, fine technique, an unwavering spirit, and most of all, friends that you can count on. If you have all of that, then I, as your father, have nothing to worry about. Those things together will always keep you on the right path. That brings me to what I really wish to discuss with you. As with all of us, there will someday come a time when you'll be a grown man who can and must think and act for himself. Whether you'll live in a world where blood will no longer be spilled between Danins and Renans, but when that day arrives, nobody can say. But even if peace still eludes us then, you'll have to decide how to live in this world. Listen to others with an open heart, but don't be swept away by their words. Always live on your terms. One more thing. If I ever see you again, I hope to say this to you in person. But neither of us knows what tomorrow may bring. Know this, whatever you think of me and what I've done, your mother and I love you very, very much. And there's nothing in this whole world that will ever, ever change that. Your father, Zephyr. Zephyr. I... I can't believe he's only telling me all this after he's gone. What am I supposed to do with this? Zephyr once told me that living freely meant being your own master. I think he wanted to make sure you know how he felt one way or another. What you do with that knowledge is up to you. But that still doesn't explain why his father left that letter for him here of all places. Don't forget, we were led to this place. We may well get some answers if we go back to the source of all this. Doholim's fighting style is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Subdued? No. Do you mean elegant, perhaps? Yeah, that's the word. For better or worse, you can definitely tell he's cut from posh rending cloth. And he's not just skilled with a staff, either. He can also use astral arts, including healing ones. I can see how he made it to the position of a lord. You flatter me. But my fighting techniques merely come from a style that aims to conserve energy by minimizing body movement. Is that why you wait until the last second before you dodge attacks? To avoid unnecessary movements? No. I do that to sharpen my senses. I find that doing so is an effective means of drawing out my innermost strength. Oh yeah, I've noticed you look stronger and strike out with your rod more after you dodge attacks. Guess that's why. Still, it's a risk. Don't you ever worry you'll dodge at the wrong moment? Then, it'll be just as well. Huh? It's nothing. Let us continue.
Always good to be back in familiar territory. Okay, off we go. Here now. Hey, she's pretty cute. Who are you looking at? Quit talking and let's go. Oh. Ow! I think it's safe to rest here now. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. W why are you staring at me? I could ask the same thing. So this is how the Sovereign and Maiden are supposed to look. You two go great together. Law, come stand between us. Oh, sure. You want me to put something white on as well? Of course she doesn't. Take a closer look, Shion. It's a miracle. What are you talking about? This outfit. It's already got blue accents on it. So I see. Your cooking has really improved, Shion. It's because of you that I understand what makes it so fun. I'm glad everyone seems to enjoy what I make, too. I've noticed a disturbing trend that after it's your turn to cook, our ingredients tend to run really low. What's up with that? That is a good point, Law. There's a weird difference between the amount of ingredients she prepares and how much food actually gets served. Curious. Very curious indeed. I don't know. Isn't it pretty normal for veggies to shrink a little when you fry them up? Or maybe she eats all the bad batches herself so we won't notice. Come on. I wouldn't do anything like that. Then how would you explain the difference? Ahem. <clears throat> I have a theory that I wish to propose. What is it? As we all know, Xion here can have quite the appetite. I imagine she often taste tests her own food as she prepares it. By my eye, it would appear that her footprints are leaving deeper impressions as of late. Far be it from me to level such an accusation, but the facts lead me to conclude that... She's been snacking while she cooks. And yet, she still looks so slender in her clothing. Yeah, I'm kind of envious actually. Wait a sec, are you guys trying to say she's... I'm what? Uh, nothing? Nothing. Shion, about that fight just now. Sorry about that. I was careless. I didn't come to criticize you. Just please take better care of yourself. You don't need to worry about me. In case you forgot, I can't exactly die anyway. It's like how you used to not care about getting beat up because you couldn't feel pain. And then I was the one to patch you up. It's the same thing. You're right. That is how I used to be. But this isn't the same. Then what do you mean? How is what's happening now different from what happened then? It's different now. Look, if you mean because you can feel pain again, I... It's because I don't want to see you getting hurt. <sighs> You're right. When I couldn't feel any pain, I put myself in all sorts of dangerous situations. I didn't listen to anybody's warnings, and I made a lot of people worried for no good reason. It was foolish. This isn't about you and me being able to take pain. I... I don't want to have to see you get hurt, Shion. It's too much for me to take. Is that a crazy thing to say? No, it isn't. And I... I definitely don't like seeing you get hurt either, Alfin. We can't expect our enemies to show us any mercy, but I will do my best not to throw myself in harm's way out there either. How does that sound? I'm sorry if I sounded harsh earlier. I didn't mean to. I just... 
really want you to take better care of yourself. I will. At least, for as long as I can. Hey, Elfin. Why do you like spicy food so much, anyway? You know, I haven't thought about that before. Maybe because when I couldn't feel pain, it gave me that kick I was craving. But now that you can feel pain again, wouldn't your tastes have changed? Did you like spicy food when you were younger? Not as much as I do now. At some point, it just became something almost like an addiction, I guess. I can most certainly relate. Once you've had your fill of ordinary food, you cannot help but seek out more unusual fare. I don't think that's got anything to do with Alfin's tastes. Although I won't deny that you definitely have a thing for exotic food. The stranger the better. I just wish I could have gotten you into sweets like me, Alfin. I like food that's dense and keeps you feeling full myself. It helps you last longer when you're on the move. We all know you're a quantity over quality kind of... What was that? Uh, nothing. I, uh... I lost my train of thought. You know, I've also noticed Xion's not really into the same kind of food most Renans are. Could be it's got something to do with the way she grew up. That's so me. Even when I was little, I was all about food that gives me strength. All meat, all the time. And I guess Kisara is so good at cooking fish because she can catch them herself. I'm only good with fish because it used to be the easiest thing to get. When you work with something long enough, it comes naturally to you. I like fish just fine, but what I really like about your cooking is how it tastes homemade. It reminds me of what my mom used to make. Really? You know, I used to cook a lot of meals for younger kids, and they said the same thing. When you get down to it, I guess the things a person cooks and the foods they like say a lot about the way they've lived. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Shion, could we talk a moment? <sighs> hmm. I thought you had something to talk about. I was waiting on you. Not really. Why? Should I leave you alone when I don't? No. It's fine. We used to really have to force these conversations when we started talking to each other, didn't we? To say the least. <laughs> <sighs> hey. What is it? Do you think you'd like to make something together? Make what exactly? Just if you wanna... Just if you wanna make dinner together. What did you think I meant? Huh? Dinner? Uh, oh, oh, dinner, yes. Yes, of course, dinner, right. What did you think I was talking about? No, it's nothing, don't worry about it. <clears throat> anyway, what did you have in mind? Well, do you recognize these ingredients? This is, wait, is this? So you remember? That's right, we're going to fix the very first meal we ever had together. Although, I remember it not being well-received when we had it. You still remember that, huh? I'm sorry, Xion. I'm just teasing you, Alfin. I picked this recipe because it's easy to make, and I thought it would be a good choice for dinner, too. Anyway, let's get to work. With both of us making it, we should be finished in no time. I never thought we'd end up eating alone like this again. Just the two of us. Yeah. So much has changed when you look back on it. Well, I guess maybe not what we're eating, but still. No, I'd say even that's changed too, in a sense. 
Our meals are a whole lot better now. True. We've both come quite a long way in the culinary arts. That's not exactly what I mean. How do I put it? It feels like eating together is a lot more enjoyable than it used to be. Yeah, I get what you mean. Even after our battles are done, when Tana is saved and our mission is finished, we'll probably still be sitting down to dinner like this, night after night. Yep, I doubt that much will change. You've always got to eat at some point. I hope our dinners will always feel like this. Maybe not exactly like this. Hopefully we won't still be camping out. Oh, no, not at all. I meant in a nice, warm house. One with a roof over our heads and a proper fireplace, instead of an open campfire. And real chairs instead of these logs? Nice plates and silverware on a big dining table. Oh, and a proper kitchen. That'd be nice, too. And when it's time to fix dinner, we'll be in that kitchen. Standing side by side. <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we made too much. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to finish all this. Yeah, you're right. I'll see if anybody else is still awake. I'd really hate to have to throw it away. Side by side, huh? I'm looking forward to breakfast. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Right. This is... <laughs> Thanks. You okay, Law? You seem kind of quiet. I'm fine. Just feels a little weird returning home now that my dad's not here, I guess. Huh. Uh, oh! Oh, man, sorry. I didn't mean to bum you out, too. Hmm. 
So I guess that means you'll be visiting your dad's grave while you're here. Right, Law? His grave? What are you, nuts? There is no grave. The Rena would only destroy it the moment they found it. Back before Calaglia was liberated, dead slaves would be dumped in mass burial sites. Either that or thrown on top of a bonfire. We got used to cremating our own to deny them the pleasure. Then we'd sprinkle the ashes from high up as a way of returning them to the motherland. It's all we could do. That's the ceremony we had when my mom died. But that was back then, right? Calaglia's lip- I suppose you've got a point. Once you've been doing something for generations, though, it sort of begins- My dad wouldn't want that anyway. Cheap and simple, he'd say. Besides, I can't treat him differently than my mom. They might not end up meeting- I hadn't thought of it like that. Wow, imagine. They're probably watching over us right now. At one with- That's why I can't afford to screw up. If I know my pops, something as paltry as death won't stop- Still, better than being left alone, I guess. Better than never knowing. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Hey, Rinwell, tell me about your parents. What were they like? They were kind. That's the part I like to remember. They could also be strict, though, especially when it came to magic. I never understood why I had to work so hard to learn magic. Why we couldn't just be done with it and live openly like everyone else. Needless to say, that didn't go over well. Of course, if I'd had known that one day I'd be doing this, I would have taken my studies more seriously. What about your parents? Same deal. Run through the mill. Told constantly that training was the only way to survive in a world like this. It got bad enough that I ended up running away and siding with the Renans of all people. And now, I've got that training to thank for being alive. I know how that feels. The first time we met, you risked using your magic to stop me from kicking my dad's ass. You could have done anything else. You could have ignored it. So, why? Yeah, I guess... You don't say. So... Not really. Not at all, in fact. I don't know how to... Wow. Well, I won't pretend I understand, but... He was. Maybe it's the snow soaking up all the sound, but something about Cislodia always feels mysterious to me. Solemn, almost. When it comes to solemnity, I'd say our own Ottolina Palace is no slouch. I won't argue with you there. Still, that azure tint of the shadows on the silvery white snow, it has a certain indescribable quality. Indeed. It was boorish of me to even suggest such a comparison. All I know is it's freaking cold. Still, more pleasant now that the locals aren't quite as frosty towards us. Hmm. Well, excuse me if I'm too frosty for your warm self. Oh, come on! You know I didn't mean you. Besides, really, I'm the one who... How about we stop getting hung up on the past for a change? Take what you've learned and put it to use in the future instead. An unexamined past can be just as dangerous in its own right. Better that than obsessing over it like a certain someone I know. Kisara doesn't mince her words, does she? 
I could say the same thing about one or two of the other women around here. Tell me about it. I think I'll refrain from commenting on this one. Poodle, I've got some dried fish for you. You want some? Huh. Forget that. Doesn't some tasty red meat sound better, boy? <laughs> hey! Stop trying to coax him away with treats! Get your own adorable sidekick if you're so desperate for one! <laughs> he appears to enjoy being the center of attention. Funny how things change. He and Rinwell used to be joined at the hip, or shoulder to Talon. It's not just Hoodle who's become more trusting. Isn't that so, Rinwell? They do say pets and their owners act alike. I suppose since we've been together, I've done my share of coming out of my own shell, too. Well, then, I guess with you and Hoodle, that makes us all one big, happy family. Sometimes when I'm deep in thought, Hoodle will come over and sit next to me. I only wish I could actually pet him. Oh, you will someday. You won't believe how soft he is. Wish I had that problem. I'm lucky if I can so much as look at old Featherbrain without him trying to claw me to ribbons. Really? He seems tame enough around everyone else. Maybe it's just Hoodle's way of establishing dominance? That's dogs, not owls. What's going on when Hoodle pecks at you? Uh, I don't know. Like when I'm talking to Rinwell, it's like he's trying to muscle me out or something. Unless... Wait. You don't suppose I make him jealous? Come again? <laughs> Ow! Ah, get off of me, you insecure fluffball! <laughs> I rather think they make a good comedic pairing. <laughs> right. Well? Hmm. <sighs> Got it. Right. That was quite the little adventure we went on. Ow! Vacuum blade! I'll Get tear you up apart! Next. As Talent impressive board. as all. Ah, and here I hoped I was improving. Did you see? Sure did. The part where you swung and missed, right? Not that part! That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. Like you can't lay a finger on it. Turn. I prefer it that way. Can't can't it. What about you? Just watch and see. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. No backing down! Dragon You're really, you really strong, Alvin. I'm just trying to do the best Holy I can. Still, it's reassuring to have you around. Finally, if only we could have flown. Damn. Hmm. I guess. I hear a voice. Somebody's asking for help. Hopefully. Oh, hey! 
right. Hmm. Yeah! All right. Finally made it. Hmm? Looks like we made it here in one piece. <sighs> Did we get everything? Yeah, let's report back to Bregan. Finally made it. I see. All right. Hmm? Got it. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> that ain't funny. Yeah. 
Zephyr's words got through to him. The things he risked his life to say were worth it in the end. I just hope he got through to others, too. It might take some time. And I think... He'll get there eventually. I wonder if we can make new weapons with this. Looks like we made it here in one piece. I see. Right. What's going on around here? Yeah. Hmm. Hey! Well... Right.
Looks like we made it here in one piece. Bad guys really don't mess around. Ah, uh, we finally made it. What? Hey! 
What? What's going on here? Hmm. How oh, come? Hmm. Huh? <sighs> what was that all about? Uh, he just thinks something's going on between me and Rinwell. And Rinwell being Rinwell took it the wrong way. Which means now I'm getting an earful from both of them. That really didn't explain anything. Finally made it. 